In the first video in this series, I briefly mentioned that operating systems are event-driven programs. In this video, we're going to explore this in a little more depth. An operating system allows you to use your hardware and use it in the way that you want to use it. An operating system, and operating systems have been around for a long time, an operating system allows you to format a disk, say, when you want to format it. It allows you to defrag your disk when you want to defrag it. You can use your printer whenever you want to use your printer. The operating system works on something called interrupts. And interrupts are just the very early form of events or triggers. These events or triggers happen when the hardware recognises you want to do a specific something. This then fires a particular program, a program that does the formatting, a program that defrags your disk for example, and it does that when you want to do it. Now this means that graphical user interface operating systems such as Windows and more recently the graphical user interfaces for Linux and for the Macs and for the Sun systems all work in the same way. They all send pieces of information to the operating system and this piece of information says I'd like you to do whatever it is you want it to do. Now you can have a look at which event-driven programming features an operating system will use.